This is your holy doctrine. You've gone to church all of your life believing this. And then you wonder why everything is screwed up. And, and you know, and it really is. And it's, it's been an extremely violent and difficult time. You're not living half the time you're supposed to live. And so many of us are filled with all kinds of diseases. And basically, the reason that we are is because you have, sitting on the top of your shoulders, between your shoulders, an instrument, which is a computer called brain. And that computer operates exactly as any computer that you'd find in any business, but the problem is you haven't a clue how to use it. And if you don't know how to use it, you don't know how to program it. If you don't know how to program it, what's coming out of there is a lot of trouble, because what's going in there is not what should be going in there. And that's where life is. There is no demons in you. There is no devils in you. These things don't exist. Inside of you is electricity. There are organs inside of your head that operate on electricity. And, and you can sit here, and, and people who have been here the first time, people that don't understand, and people that say, oh, that's strange. They sit in a dark room, and they hear these sounds that come through the speakers, and they have meditation. And what's the sense of that? What's the purpose of that? You know, that sounds like a cult to me. I want to show you where our, our documentation, if you have one of these things, if you'll open it up to page 46, let me show you why we do this and why it's necessary to do this, okay? We do it because, for instance, here on page 46 is a document that comes from the University of Massachusetts. The University of Massachusetts Medical Center, Dr. Ann Masai's psychiatry department, and she says that the reason that you should meditate is because meditation is a more effective method of melatonin production. You do not produce melatonin until you're in a pitch black room because the pineal gland doesn't open until it's in a pitch black room. Melatonin production. And here's the University of Western Ontario finding increases in melatonin after a single meditation session. So what do you need melatonin for, you say? You know, what's the purpose of that? Well, if you turn over to page 47, you'll see, for instance, that the pineal gland regulates the circadian rhythm of your body, the time clock of your body. If you go to page 48, you'll find out a melatonin in cancer. Melatonin has been shown to inhibit the growth and metastasis of tumors in experimental animals. Patients who have breast cancer have lower levels of melatonin in their blood. It has a stimulatory effect on the immune system. Let me ask you a question. How many times have you ever tried to stimulate the activity of melatonin, the pineal gland of your brain? Probably you've never, some of you have never ever done it because you hadn't a clue because you went to church. Look at page um, 48, the bottom, stress, environmental stress affects pineal gland and function, impacting body alert. Page 49, multiple sclerosis. And where is this coming from? The Albert Einstein College of Medicine, Montefiore Medical Center, Bronx, New York. The last line, melatonin is cyclical. It is proposed that the pineal gland may be the prime mover underlying the spontaneous exacerbations and remissions in multiple sclerosis. So you're just starting to find out how your body works. The agent at the bottom, the very last line, pineal melatonin may be a natural anti-aging hormone. Page 50, the immune system from the Department of Medical Biochemistry, University of Seville, Spain. It talks here about the, the protection of the immune system. There are interactions between the pineal gland and the immune system. The University of Thras in Alexandropolis, Greece, there is a, a connection between healing of Parkinson's disease and melatonin. So you get sick, or people get, you know have been desperately sick. Hey, would you ever think of, oh, well, I'm not going to tell them to meditate. Why? Because you don't understand the impact that melatonin in the pineal gland has on disease. Because nobody tells you. Because you spent your life going to church. And you missed it. And so now we go through this point, we've reached all the way from the point of the temple, we reach up to the point of the crucifixion, we reach up to the point of the resurrection, and we reach to the point where here Jesus at the point of the resurrection says, wait for me in Galilee. And we look up the word Galilee and we find in the, in the stuff that we have here that the word Galilee means circuit. What's being said? That the energy that has resurrected within you as a result of your meditation is now moving through the circuit of your brain. Where shall you see him? You shall see him in Galilee. The word Galilee, what does it mean? It means circuit. What is your brain? Your brain is a circuit. It's the electrical, it's an electrical circuit. And that's where you'll see him. And so we wait in this, we wait in this place.